What's it mean if your tire is turning blue and should you worry? Having your tires turn blue is something that you might not have ever seen unless you've gone to a track day or you've gotten really carried away in twisties. What happens is your tires have oils and various other chemicals in them that will push to the surface as they heat cycle. So I think getting on the racetrack, going out for a session, coming back in. The blue coloration is the result of a chemical change called pyrolysis. This is what happens when the tire gets extremely hot and the rubbers break down and start to oxidize. And that's where that blue color comes in is the oxidation. And this isn't something that you should be worried about, but it is something that you should watch. Your tires do only have a certain number of heat cycles that they're able to tolerate. Slicks like this one are more susceptible to heat cycles than DOT tires with a standard silica compound in them. But your slicks, that's the reason why when we come off the track, we put them back on the warmers, is we're trying not to let these tires get cold. We're trying to just have one heat cycle throughout the day, or as close to one as you can have. You'll be able to notice when your tire's gone through a lot of heat cycles, if you're out on track and all of a sudden it just doesn't feel like you've got as much grip as you did. For me, I've always been able to tell when I feel like my tires are, are heat cycled out because the tires will feel greasy. It's just like you're sliding around and you don't have as much grip as you should be. There are other things that'll factor into this, but for me, it's usually heat cycles. That's my side to just throw new tires at the bike. Tires are always gonna be cheaper than if you wreck. Just monitor the tire, and if you have any doubts, just go ahead and replace the tire. The two, $300 it costs you for a new tire is going to be much cheaper than it'll cost to fix the bike or yourself if you do wreck. Overall, the blue coloring is nothing to be concerned about. However, it does need to be monitored because the more heat cycles the tire goes through, the more degradation in the tire, meaning the less life you have in the tire, the less grip you have in the tire.